Welcome to this video. It will be a step-by-step -step set of instructions to show you how to make your own custom length V5 smart cable. Does your robot look like this? Or maybe it bothers you, your robot's left drive motor plugs into your V5 brain's right smart port, and the right drive motor plugs into the left side just to take up the extra length of the standard length smart cables. Maybe you have a motor which is lifted up to extreme heights and you cannot find a cable long enough. Well, there is a solution. Make your own custom length V5 smart cable. This video will be following the documentation found on the VEX Robotics website. In the description section of this video, you'll find a link to the presentation used to make this video. Within that presentation, you'll have access to the live links to each of the web page discussed in the video. In order to make your own smart cables, you'll need to order three things from VEX. The smart cable crimping tool, the V5 smart cable stock, and the V5 smart cable connectors. Here are the supplies we use for this video. The first step is to cut the wire to the proper length. First, we need to establish how long we need to make the custom cable. The actual cable can be laid out, but it is a little stiff, so we're going to use a piece of string to determine the length needed. Once the string is cut to the required length of the cable, the cable can then be measured out, leaving a little extra on each end for the connectors. The VEX crimping tool we'll be using has three functions, a connector crimper, a jacket stripper, and a cable cutter. Unlock the tool by slightly squeezing the handles or pulling out the lock pin. Insert the cable to the desired length into the cutter section of the tool. Align the cable so the cut will be square across. Now squeeze the handles together until the cable is cut through. In step two, we're going to strip off the outside cable jacket to expose the inside four wires. It's important to note the depth gauge on the back of the crimper. Insert one end of the cable into the stripper portion of the tool. Align the cable so it's flush with the end of the depth gauge on the back of the tool. Squeeze the tool's handles together. It can be helpful to wiggle the cable around while the handle is pressed. This will help loosen the jacket. Gently work the outside jacket back and forth until it becomes loose and can be removed. Be careful not to pull the inside wires out further while you remove the jacket. Repeat these steps for the other side of the cable. In the next step, the cable is fully inserted into the cable connectors. Insert the end of the cable fully into the cable connection. Be sure all four wires extend into the end of the connector. Flip the cable over 180 degrees and fully insert the four wires on the other side of the cable. Be sure the locking tabs are aligned so they are on opposite sides of the cable. The last step is to firmly crimp the connector prongs through the four inserted wires. Place the cable connector into the crimping section of the tool. Squeeze the handles together very firmly until they are no longer moving. You should be able to feel the connector's metal prongs seating into the wire. Now repeat with the connector on the other side of the cable. After crimping the connectors, it is very important to inspect the connector to make sure the prongs have been crimped down flush, because if they're not flush, your new smart cable will damage any smart port it's plugged into. Once you've finished crimping and inspecting your cable, you can plug in your new custom length V5 smart cable. Once the cable is plugged in, turn on your V5 brain. And if the smart port lights up red, you did it. It's worth mentioning, there are aftermarket cable testers. RoboSource has an inexpensive one available, and they also have a how to use video to go along with it. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many videos of competitions and instructions there. And 
Until next time, remember, sometimes it's just better to make it yourself.